This is Tim Wilson with ClickFunnels and ClickSigns at the Fabulous Ghetto Wood Studios and today we're going to be looking at ClickFunnels and in particular looking at one of the cool new features of ClickFunnels 2.0 called the Flex Container. As is the tradition here at ClickFunnels and ClickSigns, there'll be no fancy jump cuts, no flash painting effects because I'm the most non gimmicky person on the internet. And with that, let's take a look at what we have going on with the Flex Container. So here we have in ClickFunnels 2.0 editor a new funnel I created and it has absolutely nothing in it. We're probably going to do this in two parts. We're going to start off by just looking at what the Flex Container is. The Flex Container is kind of a weird thing because it can operate at multiple levels. Let's go ahead and start by creating a new section the way we normally would in ClickFunnels 2.0. So we're going to add a section make it a full page. We're going to add a one column row and then we will add a headline. And this is the way we would normally do things. Then we can add more elements below that if we wanted to. Now what I am going to do here real quick is put a border on the bottom so we can get some visual separation. And I'm going to make it five pixels and then just take all the other side and top off okay so that is one way so let's go ahead and take that and go to our element and instead of doing a headline or an image or a video we can click on flex and that brings up our flex container and the flex container as you can see has an aquamarine border outline and that's how you can tell it from all the other parts and then in the flex container we could put whatever we want to put neat things is you can put section rows or elements in there so we can actually go here and put a section and then we could put a two column row and then we could put let's say an image and we'll just put a paragraph element on this side and then so you see we have our section then we have our row then within that row which is actually a one column row we have our flex container kind of hard sometimes there we go then in flex container we put a section we put a two column row and then we put our elements that are in that two column row and that's one way you can do it starting with what is a normal section so let's go down here we're going to create another section now this time we're not going to use the regular section we're going to go straight to the flex container and you see the flex container can live either as its own section or it can live as a element almost you might say under a normal section so you can use it either way and depending upon your situation you might want to go one way or the other on that so that is how that's going to work in general and so now i'm going to go ahead and delete everything off of here and this is where we're going to get in part two and just demonstrate what you can do with the flex container and i'm not going to go too deeply into this i want to keep it very basic at this point but let's go ahead and add a new section here we're going to go for a regular section we're going to go with a two column row and then we're going to put an image here and we will just put a paragraph element here if i wanted to have an image here but then let's say it's a t-shirt which it will be but then i had variations of color on the t-shirt i wanted to put them under here there's no way to do that section rows and columns i would have to create another row of some sort and i can't do that i can add a row I can add a four column row but it's going to be a four column row that goes all the way across so without using custom code i'm not able to do that but if we get rid of all this again and we go with our flex container then these things can be possible and add a section we're going to add a two column row we're going to add an image here and we will add over here a headline and a paragraph and we're just going to sketch this out roughly so you can get the idea of how you could use this with a flex container 
Now our image here, we're going to go ahead and import a picture. Next, I'm going to go ahead and upload them all. There's five total that I've created for this project. Okay, so we'll just take one in there and stick it in there. And probably white wasn't my best choice. We may change the background later on. But that's good enough for now. And so we've got us a picture of a t-shirt here. And it's kind of cheesy. But I just made it up real quick just for have something to work with here. If I come here and add another element, I can add a flex container. And then in that flex container, I'm going to add an element of a section. And then under that section, I can add a four column row. And then we're going to go ahead and put an image here. And we're going to start uploading our other images. And then the easiest way to do this actually is just to duplicate this a couple of times. And then we can just drag them over. And then we could come here and use our top margin to bring it a little closer like that. And we could even own our row. And we can add a border. Let's go with some shadow there instead. And let's drop that down to like a two. And then we could go to each column do the same thing So there you see we have created something we would not be able to do under the normal rules of the section row element configuration in the ClickFunnels editor, but with the flex container we are able to do that. And then we can even come down here, add another row, make that two column row, and we can add even more stuff and we will, just for fun, add a video and then we will add a paragraph. And so on and so forth. With flex container, you have the ability to break past the general rules. And so that is a way you can do that. And this would be handy if you, again, had a garment you were selling at you wanted to show all the different variations and have them reside right under there. And this is just a rough example of what you can do and how you can break out of the usual restrictions that you would have had in ClickFunnels Classic where there was not a flex container. And that's all I really wanted to show today, but let's take one look at the flex container controls. You'll see it a little different, it has these controls for direction and justification, line items and wrap. And in future videos, I may take a look more deeper at some of those things. Right now, I just wanted to show how the flex container can allow you to do things you wouldn't normally be able to do and do them without having to create custom code. And that's all we're going to do today. If this was just an introduction to the flex container and some of the things you can do with it. As I said, I'll probably delve into this more in the future. But for right now, that's a good introduction to the flex container. And so, this is Tim Willis with ClickFunnels and Click Designs. I'm a certified ClickFunnels professional. And I make tutorial and demonstration videos on ClickFunnels. 
click designs, and other software of interest to funnel hackers and useful for funnel hacking. So that is the video for today, and until next time, I'll see you later.